right, y'all, let's talk about this big, big news that just dropped today. Oh my goodness, the school refusal program is back. Back, back, back for the 2024, 2025 school year. The school refusal program is back, y'all. They struggle got purpose and we grow. So whatever role we have to take next. All I need to know is that we'll roll with the punches. for another day of doing life together doing life y'all we're doing life and oh we are not taking this off season we're not taking this summer off this off season we've been ta talking about the off season and you don't want to take the summer off because what we know is that school is going to be happening in august and we're going to talk about that today why you don't want to take the summer off you want to continue to build your skills. We're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about let it be, let it be. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the school refusal program just open back up for the 2024-2025 school year. We're going to talk about that. And because this is an action-packed, just filled with good, yummy stuff, we're going to talk about... What separates the winners from the losers, the pretenders and the contenders? What is the difference maker? What is the difference maker of when things get tough, when things get really tough? What does the, the what, what does the people that win, 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 all I do is all win, win, win? What happens? What what do they do? Um, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you that. Just on the other side of this, I gotta go see a client though and uh i'll be back i'll be back you guys sit back put on your seat belts and enjoy this ride around being a community-based therapist today y'all the show for a minute let me interrupt the show I wanted to bring something to you that I said back in 2016 about taking the summer off from your school struggles uh, this is what I said in 2016 and guess what this is still this is still what I believe in 2024 what is that eight years later if you do the math this is still what I believe okay roll it roll it don't think that you have to wait till the stressors come back and school comes back to work on those uh, things that your child may struggle with, either school related or not. Um, the way I look at this, life never takes a break and, and uh, while we should enjoy the summer, we should uh, also make sure that we are working on the things that uh, we might get tripped up with on a day to day basis. So hopefully that helps. Uh, take a little time. Enjoy those lollipops, enjoy that ice cream, but uh, don't forget about working on those social and emotional skills because come August time, day one, we know school's coming back and uh, we want you to be ready for it. Okay, it's time for what's been coming up in client sessions. All right, let's talk about let it be, let it be. I talk with clients about this all the time and I don't know, it almost seems like it's a Beatles song. I don't know if it's a Beatles song. Let it be, let it be. Sounds like it, but I don't know if it is. Let me know if it is. Um, Y'all, there are things that happen in our life. There are, the world is just spinning and the world is doing what it does, right? And uh, we are in response to the situation. The situation is just happening. Right? It doesn't cause us to feel anxious. It doesn't cause us to feel sad. It doesn't cause us to feel irritated. It doesn't cause us to feel frustrated. Whatever the world's doing is just doing what the world does. What people do in the world is what people do in the world. What cars do is what cars do in the world, right? What weather does, just the weather does, right? Now we 
are living in this world and we're coming into contact and interacting with these different things in our world and based on how we perceive it how we think about it is going to determine how we feel about it and then what we're going to do right so sometimes we have these expectations we have these expectations of how something's supposed to go and then when it doesn't go like that we start getting upset so what is what is the skill here randy what is the skill let's let's land this plane let's land this plane today the skill is is just to let whatever's happening happen don't expect to change it don't expect to change people you just let it be you let it be you understand that that situation isn't attempting it's not it's not being like ooh, i'm gonna make randy really frustrated right now no right that situation isn't doing that it's my reaction to the situation that is causing me to feel like that so one way you can do is you can detach you can take a step back and just be like all right i'm having a moment right now i'm having a moment right now and i'm just gonna let it be i'm just gonna let that situation be i'm not gonna change it I'm gonna let it be. And when we find that we let situations just happen now, I'm trying to get better at this, y'all. I'm trying to get better, but I, 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 I'm just like in the moment, I'm just like, okay, all right, just let it go, Randy. Just let it be. Take some deep breaths. Don't try to change it. Don't try to just let it be, all right? And hopefully, y'all, if you can just get grounded enough, if you can let it be, then that's gonna calm down your thoughts and that's gonna calm down your feelings, okay? Um, but you really gotta focus on not needing to change whatever it is, because remember, that situation's just gonna happen regardless if you like it or not, because it's just happening. So what you gotta do is you gotta react to whatever that situation is, hopefully in a positive way. All right, y'all? Let it be, let it be, let it be. the good fellas out there good fellas good fellas I need to speak with you for just a second I need to speak with you for just a second hey we talk about that masculine we talk about that feminine energy right fellas good fellas go get your ladies some flowers go get your lady some flowers your lady when she smells these mm, she's gonna feel beautiful she's gonna look at them She's gonna look like there is gonna be beautiful. She's gonna get into that feminine energy, right? She's gonna get into that feminine energy and that will help you get into that masculine energy. So go get her some flowers. Tell her you're thinking of her. She looks beautiful and uh, she's very special in your life. All right, good fellas. about this big big news that just dropped today oh my goodness the school refusal program is back 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 for the 2024 2025 school year the school refusal program is back y'all this is a big 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 time um, win for families and educators uh, I talk with families all the time where they're like, ah, Randy, I just don't know what to do. I can't get him out of bed or she won't get in the car. And then the counselor's like, hey, Randy, if you can get him here to school, then we can help. And then there, there's just not that collaboration and cooperation between home and school. And so I've found over the years, that's kind of my role is to kind of bridge the gap between home and school and really create a team where uh, we there are definitely reasons why your child refuses to go to school and uh, you know our goal is to determine those reasons and then put protocols into place it's not just protocols for when they're going to school but it's protocols for when they're not going to school and so the school refusal program is a highly highly accountable program that basically if the child's going to school 
big thumbs up, big thumbs up. If they're not going to school, we're intervening during that day. In that day, we're talking, we're, we're, we're figuring out, hey, why aren't you going to school? I work with the child, I work with the parent, and I work with the school, so we're all together. And we've got this, we've got a specific protocol that we, uh, that we follow. And so what I always say is that we find the holes in the cheese. There are reasons why kids uh, they just basically kind of fall between the cracks and a lot of kids end up missing lots and lots and lots of school because parents can't force them to go the educators are like well we, you know if we can get them in the school we can do it from there and the kids are like mm -mm, nope not having and not doing it no way no how so that's where randy comes in and uh, we'll help with the school we'll, we'll, we'll help you we'll help you so you can i'm really excited to get this started for uh, this upcoming school year and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun y'all it's gonna be a lot of fun <music> continue to talk about this all summer long because I think this is so so important so many families so many clients get this wrong they downshift all summer they're just like hey we're gonna be at the pool and we're gonna take vacations I get it I get it I'm not trying to be a fun hater here not trying to be a fun hater but I'm gonna tell you this because I see it every August the struggles that you had at the big, at the end of last school year, they're gonna come back. They're gonna come back in the fall, right? Uh, I know some families just like, hey, let's hope that we just get a new teacher, or let's hope that you know this person's not in our class, then things will be better. I'm here to say, sure, those things might be different. But it's the skill set. The situations are going to be there, right? The situations are going to be there. And it's your child's response and your response. It's your skill set, okay? It's a skill set that's going to be reactivated or a lack of skills that's going to be reactivated, right? Once you get back into school. I see this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I see this every summer. Every summer since I've been doing this 2009. And every fall, people will say, Randy, I, I, we should have done this during the summer. We should have done this in the summer and gotten this taken care of. So I'm trying to get out ahead of the August kind of crisis and say, guys, if you struggled, guys, girls, ladies, boys, if you struggled last school year, both your child and you as a parent, okay? Put the work in this summer. Put the work into uh, developing those skills this summer. You'll be two months ahead. You'll be two months ahead if you do it now instead of waiting until August. I get it. You might need to take a week or two uh, to go on trip. Fine, do that. But go ahead and get started now this summer. You'll be happy you did. You'll be happy you did and you won't be uh, you won't be in that line of all those people that are trying to get in in August. You'll already be out in front of them, all right? Because you're, but because struggles don't sleep. They're not sleeping right now. It's just that it might be a little easier because the stressors aren't there. But the, but your child's reaction, your child, the way that your child handles the stressors is going to be reactivated this fall in August. Okay? All right, y'all. continue on with this conversation about what separates the winners from the losers what separates the pretenders from the contenders which would be what makes a person succeed to accomplish their goals we've talked about that they just gotta keep going right we've talked about that here's the other thing about what a contender has that a pretender doesn't when things get tough when things get really tough the contenders find the peace and comfort within the chaos, right? That everyone, that the pretenders, everyone can be good when it's good, right? But really what makes those that succeed from those that don't is can you stomach? Do you have the internal, 
emotional strength and physical to be able to tolerate the stress, the anxiety, the frustration, the sadness. Can you tolerate that? And then can you just spit it out? Can you spit it out? Can you eat it for breakfast, right? Those that are able to push through the challenges and the difficulties and minimize the consequences and the interferences are the, are the contenders. Those that buckle, that fold like a cheap chair, those are the ones that don't. And so what we have to do is we have to get really good, really good at compartmentalizing distress and anxiety and frustration. We gotta get really good at, at being able to place our thoughts into a place that doesn't affect us. It's almost like you go into a zone. You go into a zone and all those things around you kind of aren't impacting, they're not affecting you. So this is a, this is a huge skill and I, I teach people um, how to be able to stomach, to stomach that loss, that big L, that like, you know, just like your back is against the wall and basically you're, you say, no, that's not stopping me. I'm not being defeated. I'm not being defeated. That's the difference between a pretender and a contender, y'all. Do you have the strength? Do you have the strength? And it's something that you can learn. You gotta learn, but you gotta get really gritty. You gotta go into adversity. You gotta go into challenges. You gotta go into difficulties. You gotta find what we call, in the runner's world, we call it the pain cave. You gotta go into that pain cave and be able to come out of it like a champ, like a champ. All right, y'all? Don't be used as easy as a layup